I just wanted to remind you that at the end of the video, be sure to check out the comments section for a link to more information. In this video prepared by Confor Empresario, we are going to study the fan coil as a cooling or heating unit for air distribution systems. If this topic interests you, stay with us and subscribe to our channel. The ducted air conditioning system can be in two ways. 1. Distribution of ducts, directly coupled to a package type air conditioning system, where the air is cooled directly with the refrigerant, from the refrigeration cycle of the air conditioning equipment. 2. Distribution of ducts, directly coupled to a fan coil system or air handling unit, where the air is cooled, due to the heat exchange with the ice water that comes from a chiller. Let's start as always with the basics. What is a fan coil? Fan coil units use water as a cooling element. These units receive hot or cold water from a remote chiller or boiler, and circulate it through tubes or coils. The fan dries the air and makes it pass through the tubes where the water circulates, thus producing heat transfer. As it is a compact system, which occupies a small space for its installation, is efficient and economical in maintenance and breakdowns, it is a highly demanded system in buildings for commercial use such as hotels, hospitals or shopping centers. What are the types of fan coils? 1. Vertical fan coil. The vertical units are manufactured to be installed on the perimeter walls of the area to be heated. They are usually embedded and covered by some type of decorative furniture designed specifically for the unit. 2. Horizontal fan coil. As for the horizontal units, they are designed to be placed mainly in false ceilings, concealed, together with an air conditioning duct system. When, in addition to controlling temperature and humidity, it controls the regulation of air renewal, and has a filtering system capable of retaining very small particles, we consider that the fan coil is an air conditioner. How is a fan coil installed? We must know the essential components of the installation. Let's see them quickly. Flexible connection for the water inlet and outlet to the fan coil. These flexible joints seek to absorb vibrations and bring the fan coil to the point of arrival of the water distribution pipes. Solenoid valve. This valve has the objective of closing the passage of water through the fan coil once the required temperature has been reached. Drainage valve. To carry out any maintenance, a valve is required to drain the water contained inside the fan coil. Water filter at the entrance. In order to prevent impurities in the water from entering the system. Valve. DRV. This double function valve allows us to regulate the flow of water, as independent as possible of the pressure. Gate valves at the inlet and outlet. In case of any maintenance, these valves seek to close the total flow of water to the exchanger. Bypass. When the solenoid valve closes, the flow of water, which was originally directed towards the exchanger, is diverted through this pipe. It is also useful for maintenance. As for the fan coil, we must remember that these teams usually work with a variation of water temperature between the outlet and the inlet of 10 degrees Fahrenheit. With these conditions, a fan coil should receive approximately 2.4 gallons per minute for every 400 cubic feet per minute of air that it is conditioning. As in this case, 1500 CFM are being conditioned with a simple rule of three, by rule of proportionality, we can know the water flow required by the fan coil. From there calculating, for 1500 cc of air per minute, 9 gallons per minute of water must pass through the fan coil. Thank you for being with us. We look forward to your subscription to the channel. I just wanted to remind you that at the end of the video, be sure to check out the comments section for a link to more information.